Hi everyone and welcome back to Crafts with Mike. Today we have another crafting project. Uh, this uh, was extremely late. Herms put it out for delivery and then I don't know what happened but it got delayed and took another five days before it got delivered. But today, uh, if I just move that up a bit, you can see uh, we're going to be doing another project which is Paint Simba. Now this was only £5 and it comes from a shop called The Works. It's a new summer range that they've got out at the moment. They've also got a Dalmatian which I will probably get. As you can see here, figure five paints and paintbrush. And uh, yeah, we'll take a look over the back here. As you can see, Simba paint your own figure. And then on the back here you've got colour mix. So obviously if we need to mix some colours, it tells us for example, yellow plus red equals orange and so on and so on. So as you can see, if we just open it up, you can see in here that we've got a little Simba and we've got ourselves a pack of paints. Uh, they're very small, so obviously we've got to be careful with this, but as you can see, if we take this out, we've got our little paintbrush. Oh my God, that was lucky. Oh my God, it just literally rolled out my hand. So as you can see, we've got a little paintbrush here. So we've got that. And then obviously some packaging that we don't need. And we've got our Simba here. I don't know what this is made out of, but it is very, very good. There's also a tip um, on the back of this box that I've just seen. And it says here, add white or black paint to make the perfect shade. So uh, yeah. But in here, we've got this lovely bubble wrap. Oh my God, it feels like a de Christmas decoration. Oh wow. Okay, so as you can see in here, this is the Simba. It looks really, really good. I've noticed here, if you look around here, there's some slight imperfections there. You've got a hole there. You've got, I don't know if you can li listen to that right. That feels like if you was to drop it, it would smash. Uh, another imperfection there. Uh, this is basically where the mould hasn't come out right. Um, again, some imperfections there. But it is what it is. I mean, they can't get it perfect. So we're going to give that a go. Um, so obviously the idea is that we've got to basically try and replicate that there. So that's the picture that we've got to work from. So I think, first of all, we will do the... We will do the green, which is obviously the base. Now, to get green, we have to do yellow and blue to get green, okay? So, what we're going to do is, I need like a little palette or something. So, what I will do is I will use, just trying to think, I've got like a little palette or something. Yeah, that's what I'll use. So, I'm going to use this. This is a very old collection that I used to do called Precious Rocks, Gems and Minerals, and I don't need that anymore, so we'll do some of that. So what we're gonna do to get that, we need to get some yellow uh, from in here. So if we bring this down, so you go 